Hi, welcome to week eight. And this is the week where you turn in your first major paper. The maximum amount that you can make on it is, is 205 points. The five points is for those of you who turn your rough draft in by 11.59 tonight, I will not be taking any late ones. So if, if you can't do it, that's then just make sure you take all of this information that I've got posted on week eight and that you do the very best you can to make a really good final draft. Okay, so here we are at announcements. And so what I did so that there would not be a lot of confusion, I said at the very top, two assignments are due Sunday the 13th at 1159. This is a week from tonight. Your final draft checklist and your final draft of your classical argument, which is four to six pages with four to six sources. Okay, you're watching the video right now. That's the first one. I want you to read over the rough draft example that I dropped in week seven. And I emailed you this, um, this PowerPoint. I'm, I can't remember if it's a PowerPoint, but I did email it to you last night. Uh, no, actually, I believe it's a Word document. It's several pages long, uh, maybe four. Read over your materials in section entitled before you turn in your rough draft, before you turn in your rough draft next Sunday. Then prior to turning in your final draft, complete the checklist and submit on the link above the final draft link. And I'll go back and spell those correctly. Okay, turn in and I put the checklist in red to remind you that is due next Sunday. Final draft is due next Sunday. Turn in the final draft by Sunday, the 13th at 1159. Then complete um, MindTap grammar exercises on mechanics. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. And so that you find on your announcements. So let's move on to week eight. You're doing this, number one, I want you to read over all the materials uh, in the before you turn in your final draft. Those are also listed in your week seven. Submit your completed checklist, turn in your final draft of your classical essay by Sunday, complete these mind tap exercises. Okay, so the instruction for the rough draft, I think I put in, seven, but I wanted to put it here too. Please read this because it talks about where I actually did two different leads, one using the quotation, one using an interesting fact, but you could also use um, a question or an anecdote, but I just used these. And then I took both of those and um, I wrote you a little blurb on, well, it's probably longer than a blurb, but I wrote it on my rationale behind it and how I treated my quotations. Okay, so then this is actually my second main point, and it does right here. It count, The first paragraph is about the definition, so that's my transition that's moving into this and find out why I put boxes around this. Why do I have red font on most of it and black on the rest? For those answers and many more, read the takeaways. Okay, so I'll give you an example and a takeaway page. An example and a takeaway page. I was going to show you the whole, um, I was going to show you the whole paper, but that is just, at this late date, that's just too time consuming for y'all. Turn in this. Now, the top four are listed, or the bottom four, I think, are in the previous week. So be sure to go through this. This one, before you turn in the final draft, actually has a table in it. And it shows you what all you need to go over. No second person pronouns no first persons there's no i me we us there's no you or you there is no and there's definitely no y'all um only in texas do we have 
y'all for the plural. That's the, really not correct, but that's that's us. Then you are oh, you only, but you're left with using third person singular or third person plural or any nouns or proper nouns. That's it. No form, don't use slang, don't use text speak, don't use any of that. Your capitalization, if you several, well, not very many, but some of y'all are not capitalizing your sentences, uh, the, the first letter of the sentence and you're not punctuating it. So that will not be a passable paper. I'm gonna give it right back to you because this is a college course and that's not accepted at all. Um, so if you're one of those people who is not capitalizing the first letter of your sentences, start doing it and start doing it too when you're email, emailing me, because remember, this is formal. Okay, I'm your teacher, so you need to show that you understand grammar when you're emailing an English professor. Um, these are the different transitions between your paragraphs because you're going to have to have those. This is how you format in case you forgot. Um, this is citations. So just a quick cheat sheet, not really a cheat sheet, but anyway, it's just a quick thing for you to look at. Okay, uh, let's see. Transitions. Okay, I see that actually I'm clicking through these and you're not seeing the screen. So you just need to go through these and, and look at them. Some of you have already looked at most of them, but maybe not the first two. Okay, this is the checklist I was talking about. So you're going to click on this. Well, actually, you're going to click on this, the, the classical argument. Okay, this I am going to pull up because you need to go through this and fill it out and send it in. And I mean, wait maybe an hour or two before you turn it in and go through this. Make sure that you have done all of this and click, yes, I did that. Yes, I did that, whatever. And I'm holding you accountable for it too because if I start seeing these problems, I am definitely going to take off points. So be sure to turn that in. Okay, so that's what I just showed you. So make sure you've checked it all off and you've complied with all of the things on there and then turn it in. Now it's time to turn in your final draft and you will have a rubric attached to it, but this is where you're going to upload your essay, at least four pages, not counting the work cited page, at least four sources. Um, make sure all your sources for your in-text citations are listed and work cited, and that all the sources and work cited are in the in-text citations. And this is your rubric. Now it will be electronic. Okay, it will be electronic. It looks like you can see this and it will be included with your grade, but these are the points. Of course, you wanna get skilled because that, that would get you your 200 points, but your in-text citations, format work cited. So that's 30 points, that's 30 points. So four pages is 10. Okay, introduction. 20, argument, com quality, complexity, and depth of support is 30. And I've talked about that in some of my, um, the things that I've shown you about your rough draft, that's your complexity, your so what, how are you tying this into what's relevant for your audience? Acknowledgement of opposing or contradictory evidence, 
overall structure up to 20 points okay oh we'll see grammar 20 points let that mind tap work for you and then a source sandwich which basically what that's doing is you're giving your reasoning and you're also giving your okay this is what i think so this is how it would apply and taking it to a, a ne the next level okay so that is how that is going to be done oops So there you have it, and I want you to do a great job, uh, even if you didn't make it in time to get your rough draft in, that you still have all of the things that you need to get it done. Now, having said that, if you have questions during the week, let me, let me know. Um, if you didn't turn in your rough draft, I can help you with a few things, but you just won't get a comprehensive look over like what I'm going to do for the ones who turn theirs in. But I can answer some of your questions. So again, I'm scrolling through to show you all this. Look at your rubric. The, the quotation sandwich is to basically fill, it's saying all three things that are on your note cards the one that says the quote the one in your own words and then what you think about that so that's basically what a quotation sandwich is there you go if you have any questions let me know and i wish you the best and i noticed already it's what time 721 and already one of you has turned yours in so thank you so much have a great week let me hear from you bye-bye